Hello and welcome to the S&T workshop here at New Romney. The workshop itself is hidden away at the back of the site and not many people actually get to look at it or to see what we've got down here. I've been asked to talk about Die Block. Um, people who follow the railway on social media or in Marshlander will probably have seen references to it but not everybody really is clear about what Die Block is. To understand Die Block we really need to go back the best part of a hundred years or more uh, to when trains used to run over single lines and there were some very serious incidents. A guy called Edward Tyres thought this shouldn't carry on and so he invented a system um, so that trains would only go on the single line section one at a time. This set idea has a lot of advantages and uh, it's something we're implementing on the single line to Dungeness. Each train that goes on it needs to have one of these, a key token. Um, the key tokens are released by machines, visually very similar to tyres machines but a very much updated version of it. DiveBlock stands for Digital Block Control and that's the system that we're installing made by Park Signalling up in Manchester. It's a very modern take on it to the extent that we're the first people to actually use it. Network Rail are closely watching what we're doing um, and they will be following us rather than the other way around. So, uh, Quite an advance for us and for signalling in general in some respects. The machines are behind me here, you can see we've got a pair of them. This one will live in a uh, new Romney box and this one will live in a special case at Romney Sands. And the whole idea of them is that you can only ever have one of these tokens out at any one time. So if I was to try and take another token out, this machine, I press this button and it won't allow me to take that token out and it starts to get upset with me. If I put this token back in, the system acknowledges I've got it, it says token available there, so if I want to take another token out, say from Romney Sands, I can just take a token out. Very easy, very quick, and now you can see we've got token not available again on both machines. In the old days, um, these machines would communicate with each other over just two wires running along a pole route or even in the ground. Um, vulnerable to all sorts of damage, P-way shovels, pole routes being blown down by wind, etc. And as I say, these are modern machines, so these actually communicate over 4G networks, um, also they have broadband links, so these machines when they're properly installed will have two 4G links and one broadband link. The idea of this is redundancy so that uh, the chances of losing all three systems of communication are pretty slim to be honest. 